So usually when we try to straighten our tilted images, it crops it a bit, right? So if you go to straighten and if you try to create a straight line just like this in order to straighten it, have a look, it's cropping out these areas. Now these can be some essential areas and also keep in mind, the more the tilt, the more it will crop. The lesser the tilt, the lesser it will crop. Now Photoshop has an interesting feature in the later versions, which allows you to automatically fill up those areas. So all you need to do is to go to the crop tool, and if you're already on the crop tool and it doesn't show anything, just click and the handles will show up. Make sure in the ratio, if it's just some weird ratio already selected, make sure you choose original ratio so that the original ratio will show up and then click on straighten. Now create a straight line along a straight line in an image which should have been straight in real life. So I'm gonna use this horizon as our reference. So let's do this. Now while you're doing this, if you just do it, it will crop out parts. So keep in mind that before you do it, let's go back, before you do it, make sure you check content aware. Just have this checked and then click on straighten and then create a straight line along the horizon or anything that should have been straight. It maintains the original ratio and the size and these are the areas which it will attempt to fill with content aware. Hit enter or return and Photoshop automatically fills up those areas. By the way, if you do want to expand the image, this is what you can do. Let's go back by pressing Ctrl or Command Z or Z, however you pronounce it. Let's click again and make sure you have checked content aware. Let's click on straighten and again, let's draw a straight line along the horizon. There you go. Now, if you want to expand it even more, you can just expand it at the top, at the bottom, that's up to you. You can maintain the original ratio or you can just click on ratio and have it clear and you can just do whatever you want. You can expand it here, there, change the ratio, expand it a little bit to the top. That's all up to you. Click outside or hit enter or return and Photoshop does a fantastic job of filling up those areas. Now in this image, just like most images, you wouldn't have a problem. But sometimes around the corners, it might create some artifacts. Have a look at this. This is not an artifact, but it's a repetition. Have a look at this texture right there. It's repeated again. So if you don't want to give your audience a telltale sign of this area being replaced or filled with content aware, trust me, they won't even notice unless they're Photoshop experts and just zooming in too much, just trying to find some areas. So if there are some artifacts, just select the lasso tool or the rectangular marquee tool, anything, just make a selection of that area of any repetition and then simply fill it again by going to edit and then content aware film. You can also choose which areas to sample from and as you can see it did a fantastic job. You can output this filled area to a new layer or you can just keep it in the current layer. So for simplicity let's keep it in the current layer and that area is taken care of. Also in this area we can see some lines, no worries, just with the help of the lasso tool make a selection or you can also use the patch tool, that's all up to you. So let's go to the patch tool, simply select this area little by little and replace it. There you go. And you can take the time to do these little things here and there and everything else will fall into place. If you zoom out, you cannot even tell. So that's how to straighten or rotate images without cropping in Photoshop. One more important thing to keep in mind before we finish, when you are in the crop tool, make sure that delete cropped pixels is unchecked. Don't check that, otherwise you are really going to lose the details. Let's say this is checked and you cropped your image this much. You hit enter. Now if you want to bring back some of it or even if you just bring the image a little down by pressing Ctrl or Command T and you try to do that, have a look, all of those details are deleted. If you go back to the crop tool, make sure content aware is unchecked this time, otherwise it, it will try to fill those areas. Have a look, all of those details are gone, all right? So that is why I recommend keep it unchecked. Always delete cropped pixels. By the way, content aware is optional. If you do want to fill it, keep it checked. If you don't want to fill it, keep it unchecked. I usually keep it unchecked unless I have to straighten something. But this one, delete cropped pixels, always keep it unchecked. So that way, when you crop your images and you want to bring back something, you will have all the details. I hope this video helped you and if it did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss any other future tips, tricks or tutorials. I'll see you in my next one till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.